Yes. All right. So you know you have a car, and that car has a very big tank, right? Okay. Okay. And <clears throat> you are traveling in a linear line. You are traveling in a uh, in a line. Right. 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 The next filling station is at ten, right? Maybe here. Okay. Right. And this fuel station has hundred hundred fuel, right? Okay. So when okay. I say hundred fuel, I mean you know hundred liters of fuel. Which can take you hundred kilometers. So the mileage is okay. one liter per kilometer, right? Okay. And okay. your tank capacity is infinite, so you can you can put as much fuel as you want, right? Okay. Okay. So you will never be able to reach the target, right? Right. Because okay. you have you you can only move one kilometer with this particular fuel with the start fuel equal to one, right? Right. 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 So uh, you will not be able to reach. Now consider this. You have the starting fuel of ten kilometers, right? Okay. Okay. Then at ten kilometer, you have a station that has a fuel of sixty, right? Okay. Then at okay. twenty, you have a fuel station with thirty fuel. Then maybe at okay. thirty, you have a fuel station with thirty fuel, right? A station does not have forty fuel. Let's say this station only has ten fuel, right? Okay. So if the station only has ten fuel, then your answer will be different. So first you will right. go from this point to this point, then you will stop right. at this station also, and you will take thirty fuel. Then you will stop okay. at this station and take the ten fuel, and then you will reach the target. Okay. Okay. Right? Ultimately, we want to reach the target, right? right? Right. So we want to find out that you know what is the minimum number of stops that we have to make so that we can reach right. the target. Right. Even if we yes. reach the target with, uh, you know, even even when we reach the target, if we have zero fuel, that is fine. Right. But yes. we should be able to reach the target. Yes. Is the, is the question clear? Yes, sir. Have we done this kind of question earlier? This kind of question. I mean, like is it trains problem? Yeah, trains problem. Right. So uh, okay. you know, let, let's let's look at the recursion. Let's look at the recursion. What is the recursion? Okay. At each stop, we will have two okay. choices. Either we can stop, okay. uh, e either we can stop at the station, right? At okay. at each station, we will have two choices. Either we can stop the station and take the entire fuel from the station, right? Right. right. Or we don't right. stop at the station, right? Okay. It okay. it does not make sense to stop at a station and not take the entire fuel of the station. Right? right right so so far as taking the fuel is concerned we will probably follow a greedy approach that you know whenever we stop right. at a station we will take the entire fuel of the station because the uh, right. tank capacity of our vehicle is unlimited right, right? but uh, having said that uh, when we go to a station we have two choices either we can stop at the station or not stop at the station right okay, okay. so by stopping at the station let's say the answer is k and okay. when when you don't stop at the station let's say the answer is p okay so we have to find the minimum of k and p right okay and okay. if we are stopping at the station then this is 1 right so answer is right. actually k plus 1 the competition is between k plus 1 right right does it does it make sense right yes yes sir right or if we compare it with the train problem okay if we compare it with the train problem then what are the choices right Uh, let's say i want to go from station number i uh, from point number i to point number j okay right initially i is 0 and j is 100 right or the target right right so right. i is 0 in this case j is 100 right uh, okay right this k can be anything between i plus 1 to j minus 1 right right So this k can be anything between i plus one to j minus one, right? Yes. So and that will be our answer. Okay. Right. So this becomes more yeah. or less like a DP problem. Right. 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 This, this can is, you explain that right? once again that i plus one and j minus one, sir? See, <clears throat> when you are going from i ith points to jth point, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, from zero to hundred. Okay. Either you go without taking a break, right? Right. If you are going without right. taking a break, then you have to check the possibility also whether it is possible or not. 
right yes right yes. so let's say it is possible of uh, possible to go from i to j then that is our answer because you know it means that we are stopping at zero station right right and we right. are trying to minimize it we are trying to minimize our stop at the station right mm. so then that is our answer if that is yeah. not possible if that is not possible it means that we are taking at least one break right yeah so yeah. if we are taking one break in between then we can take that break at any of the stations right yes yes right so <clears throat> let's say we take a break at station k okay. right it does not mean that we are taking only one break okay it just mean that we are taking at least one break right right so right. if we take one break then we we find we try to find the minimum number of stations that we have to stop in going from i to k let's say right. this is x and we okay. find the minimum number of stations that we have to stop in going from k to j let's say this is right. y then our answer will be x plus y plus 1 yeah right because x is the number of stations that we are stopping between i and k and y right. is the number of stations that we are stopping between k to j and okay. one station is k itself okay okay right? so the answer becomes x plus y plus 1 right okay. okay and we have to check for all possible values of k right, right? right. so k can be station number 1 k can be station number 2 k can be station number 3 so k can be any of the stations in between right right Th does it make sense right right, right. i think the yes. stations are given in sorted order right yeah yeah so yeah. this is uh, you know this I, i'm not saying this is exactly like the train problem because in train problems we were trying to minimize yeah, yeah. the Uh, we were trying to minimize the cost of travel right yeah so yeah. in that case we were considering all the possibilities right? yeah yeah here we are not considering all the possibilities here we are considering the possibilities that that is giving us the minimum value right 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 there we were trying right. to minimize the cost cost of travel so once we get the recursion correct then it is mm -hmm. easy to convert that recursion to dynamic programming yes right yes. so if we can yes. get the recursion correct then dp array will be probably a one dimensional array that we used in the train problem uh, any any question you have uh, no sir you will be able to do it right yeah yeah